fire. Camp was straight fire, baby. Nice and easy again. The throwing chain reaction system. Northern Cal. I think one of the cool things is literally the temperature. Uh, we went out and had a training session today. We got in town. Jason and I need to get uh, practice up for nationals next month. And uh, so at any rate, we met with Coach Cacavo. Throwers Coach Cacavo is a legendary guy up here in Northern Cal. He's produced a ton of uh, collegiate throwers. I didn't realize because I was trying to record on my iPad and looking over and I missed you. We did a quick training session today and just did our basics, uh, hit Whole Foods, and uh, got some supplies and water and ate some dinner, and we're just kind of now chilling out. We're gonna gear up for tomorrow, and we'll be up bright and early to get set up for the camp. Again, we're uh, adjusted the format again. I'm always tweaking with things, just like throwing, um, like I've mentioned maybe on some other videos, but uh, we're always trying to improve the format. So we got a new little way we, we think is gonna just be another enhancement. So if you've been to a camp before, they're never the same. They're always, um, we're always doing some sort of improvement every single camp. Two, three, I'm in wind one, around. Now we're putting it together. Look where I'm at, I come around. Now it's basically putting around. We're just moving from here to here. Does this look familiar? That's what we just did. So basically we go from a wind one, it just helps you get around. So this is by default gonna teach you to push this knee to drop in and go. That right it's side. very helpful now and it mostly helps you with more of a technique you if you've already you thrown before up. and then if you it's your first up. time then this will really this help you. I like it a lot because it gives you an opportunity to keep looking and slowing it down and stopping it and frame by frame to see what the exact technique is so you can go really slow. Again, had a good dinner, hung out with Coach Cacalo, took us to this great Chinese restaurant in Martinez, California. And uh, of course, he knows the people there. He's been in this area teaching and coaching for 33 years. Check it out tomorrow. We're gonna cover some other topics. We'll talk about some different things technically and some of the things we've seen at the camps. I'll give you a little bit more look into some of the technical stuff. Row is a chain reaction. See me doing this. Look at the left side. Don't keep it out here. See where the left side is? Look where the shot is. Start in the middle of the ring and stretch to the toe board. Don't start at the front of the toe board and step in. That's my recommendation. You don't have to do that, but this is why I recommend that. The key to building any good house is the foundation. The six pillars help lay a strong foundation. It's kind of like opening up my eyes to different ways I could do things to improve on everything. So this is a new system for us, so by it being new, everything was new to us. Yeah. I think it was a really cool way to just break it down into each individual step and just see what I'm supposed to be doing as opposed to what I've been doing. And so I think that made it a lot easier to actually figure it out.
five camps down, five to go. We did this last year and by five camps, I was absolutely smashed. I don't really feel that bad. Uh, maybe it's because I know I have to do five more. Now we're looking forward to just chill, flights in a couple hours, Jason and uh, Tony are flying back to LA and then um, we'll be meeting up Houston, or uh, Columbus is gonna be massive. It's a, it's, a, it's a big camp and we flew in a ton of extra staff. Tour's been great so far and if anybody you're watching, please always message us, let us know what you like and we'll be sending information to find out what you like most and anything else you'd like to see at our camp. So. Thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for SoCal and Columbus, Ohio.